you can draw this bubble in Procreate. Just like the previous two video tutorials, we will only be using the brushes that are already in Procreate. So you don't need anything else. I think it was great that you guys shared your work, your results of the previous two tutorials. You shared them on Instagram and here, check these out. I really loved seeing them. Let's get started with this tutorial and draw a bubble. I will guide you through all the steps, show you what brushes we will use, what tools. So let's get started. First of all, the canvas that I'm using is just a screen size canvas. It's like, it's the upper option, the first option that you can pick when making a new canvas. Here, let me show you the size. It's 2732 by 2048, just screen size, very easy. And I have also made a palette again. So if you want to use the same colors, the exact same colors I'm using in this tutorial, you can get this palette downloaded for free on my Patreon page. I will leave a link in the description. First of all, we will lay down a background color. We will pick this dark, very dark blue color, and we will just drag this circle onto the canvas to fill it entirely. And we will make a new layer to get started drawing that bubble. What we will do is we will make a circular selection. Let me just zoom out a little bit. A big dark canvas like that looks a bit scary. Okay, we will go to the selection tool. That's that little S shape ribbon here in the upper left corner. And we will use ellipse and we will make a circle. If you hold one finger on your screen, as you can see, it snaps to a perfect circle. And that's what we want. We want a perfect little bubble. There we have a selection and now we can drag in just, we can drag in white or whatever color we want. And we can drag it in the selection and it'll fill that perfect circle. And we can get started drawing our bubble. This layer, this white circle, it's just like a reference layer. We can use this to select the same exact circle again and again for each layer that we will make. So let's make a new layer and make that selection again. We can go to that ribbon again and select automatic. Now if you click that circle, we get that perfect selection. And we can turn off this layer. Now let's get started painting that bubble. We will go to airbrushing and select the soft brush. And we will start with this dark blue. Oh, let me see. I'll put it at 20% and just gently glaze over this lower left corner. We'll make this side blue. Just gently make a nice gradient. And for the upper right corner, we will use this pink magenta-like color. And as you can see, because we have a selection active, we can only paint inside of the selection. Now let's also add some lighter colors. We'll use this brighter blue and use some of that in this corner as well, just that edge. So we get a nice gradient from light blue to a darker blue. And in the upper right corner, we will add some oranges. It's already starting to look so nice and glowy. We will add some yellow. Let's make our brush a little bit smaller and add some bright yellows here. There, it already looks a little bit like a bubble, don't you think? But we will add more. Let's add some cloud-like texture. We will make a new layer for that. And we will also use another brush. Since we want a cloud-like texture, we will go to Elements and select the brush Clouds. That seems like the 
appropriate brush to do this. We will use the blue again. We will use the same colors as we did before. And now we will just, with a pretty big brush, add some cloud-like texture. This is like the reflection from the moonlit sky, I guess, because we have a dark background. Maybe it doesn't make sense entirely, but let's use our imagination and we can add, we can add anything we want in that reflection. We want some cool looking clouds. But in general, a bubble would reflect, in general, yeah, just a bubble reflects its surroundings. So if it's outside and it's cloudy, then you will see the clouds. If it's inside near a window, then you would see the reflection of a window. Now I'm also adding some lighter blues here. And we will go to that upper right corner and also add some pinks. And some oranges. Now, if you like tutorials like this in which I talk you through all the steps, then you might consider checking out my Patreon page because I make a lot of uh, real-time tutorials like this uh, not just beginner but also more like intermediate taking you through all the steps to uh, to make digital art now let's turn down the opacity of this layer just a little bit making making it a little bit more subtle let's go to 65 percent there now we have a nice basic bubble but we want that spark. We want that bubble to really shine. So we'll make a new layer. I have deselected the circle just by pressing that arrow over there. And let's add a bright highlight. We will go to luminance and select the flare brush. And we will make a highlight in the lower left corner. Well, it's not really a corner because it's round, but yeah, in the lower left side of the bubble and in the upper right side. And we will select this very bright blue. And we will make a highlight just about there. Maybe I'll move it around a bit. You can just use that arrow and then move it around like this. You can rotate it by holding that green handle and you can just pick it up, move it around. And let's make a new layer for the one here. That way we can easily rotate it and move it without messing with the other one. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. There. And now we can just merge these two bright highlights. Now these bright highlights, they need to, uh, they need some more shine. Let's make a layer below them to add more light, but we will use the selection again. So we'll go to the ribbon. We have selected the white circle. Make sure you have set it to automatic and click that circle to make that selection again. And we will go to the layer below those bright sparks. And let's use the light brush to add some more brightness around these, uh, these sparks. Let's go a bit further and make a nice glowing edge around the bubble. But we will use the bright blue for this side and we will start using the yellow for this side. And just try to paint outside of the bubble to really make a thin, thin edge. You see I'm focusing on the outside of the bubble and not really painting on top of the bubble. So we get this nice glow. Now we'll move to the other side and use yellow 
for this side and again I'll just paint try to paint outside of the bubble and let that glow pass over the bubble there now it's time for some final touches let's make a new layer for that and use the light pen brush we will add some bright pinpoints bright highlights in the bubble and again on this side we will be using the yellow and on this side we will be using the blue so we have kind of a gradient from the blues to the warm pink and oranges let's just play some random bright lights and also around that edge I think it would be nice to make that one even brighter. So we'll use this very bright blue to emphasize these a bit. That's a nice looking glow. And let's do the same thing in this corner. Use a really bright, bright blue. And around that edge. And we'll also use this, this blue. And like I said, if you want to use the exact same colors, you can download the palette for free on my Patreon page. I'll just leave a link in the description. And I'm looking forward to seeing your results again. So please share them on Instagram and tag me in the image. So I will be able to find your work. There, let's just click that again and deselect it. And now we have our super flashy bubble. What we can do if you would like to add more bubbles to your painting, if you would like to make a whole group of them, then we can just select all these layers by sliding to the right and select group. And we can just start duplicating them. We will merge all these layers. And an easy way to duplicate layers is by using your fingers, swiping down with three, and then use copy and paste. And if you want to resize your bubble, make them smaller, be sure to use the uniform setting. Because if you use freeform, then you can make it, well, can make it look really weird so let's not do that and let's use uniform to make these bubbles smaller and you can just keep using that three finger gesture but oh it's set to free form again uniform that's what we need but do make sure that if you want to make bigger bubbles that you select the big bubble, the bubble that we made in the beginning. And don't select a small bubble and copy that and make a bigger bubble. And a nice thing that you could do when you've made a whole lot of bubbles is first let's merge these all. You could add a slight blur to bubbles that are in the distance. You can use the selection tool, the ribbon again, and use freehand. And let's just select these bubbles that are in the distance. Now we've selected these three bubbles. And you can go to the magic wand and use Gaussian blur, for example, and use the slider to slightly blur them. So that's a nice trick that you could use once you're done making your bubbles. Have fun, have fun with these bubbles. And like I said, looking forward to seeing your results. Be sure to share it and I'm wishing you a lovely day. See you next time.